Rossi between the Minor Atome, Clarence and Pose, and the Minor Atome Whippy Wildcats. The battle of two undefeated teams. Right now, Whippy is 6 0 1 in the league with 13 points, with the Toros nipping on their heels at 5 0 0. This is a big game for the Toros. They can cut the lead to first place down to a point with a victory. Genioli takes it back in his own end. We're just getting started here at the Iroquois Park Arena and Whippy. Getting that puck into the zone to center it out of front. Went over the stick. Throwing it out of front there with the reach. Try to kick Captain Mercer at the blue line, but couldn't do it. He dumps it back into the Toros and behind the goal. Van Rina moves it over to the other side for the defensive pander. Trying to start it up through center now. Got stepped off him. As leg got stepped off the puck. Still stays in the Toros end as they're looking for that loose puck. Going back to the line, trying to get a shot through, tipped out of front, and there's the first shot stopped there by Leg for a face-off. Face-off coming off to the left of Owen Leg. Yeah, the try to get one by Whippy, but the shot doesn't make it through. Toros get the loose puck with Davis Gorham leading it up. Gorham up through center, trying to get around the check there of number 71, capped in by Adam Foreman only for a little bit. And now, here comes number 16 with a lead pass. O'Brien Clancy dropped it back. Quick shot for number 10. Got blocked before it hit. Leg in the net. Going trying to get to the loose puck and get it out for the Toros. Whippy with the first little bit of pressure in the game. Christie moves it up through center. That's going to roll all the way down the ice and get picked up by Snotsell Scott. Moves it over to the other side there for Ryan Lee to try and get it out. Captain at the line by Christie, but his shot got blocked going to the net. Coming up with a loose puck is Foreman with a lead pass. Trying to set a breakout. Got it up there for Saxena. Trying to get a loose shot. Gave it Saxena shot got blocked. It went in behind the net. Try to throw it out of front. And another one that goes wide of the net. Into the corner goes right. Quinsky to set it up in front. And that shot just missed. Ryan Lee from the blue line. Trying to get a shot through. Kept out of front. Just out of the reach. As Ross is in goal for Whippy. Number 52 trying to get it out. Nice play there by Preston Best to hold it in at the line. Number 34 starting it up here for Whippy, trying to get it up. Right, Twinsky with a nice pass over to the other side for Best, trying to keep it in the Whippy zone. Brock Gardner keeps it in there at the blue line. Gets around the check, takes a shot. That's going to go wide of the net. It's going to get found over there by Ray Twinsky in the corner. Throwing it out of front over the stick of Best. Toros putting on their first little bit of pressure now. Still have yet to have a shot on goal yet as that one goes down the ice. It'll come back into the whippy end for a face-off. Face-off got one there by Clancy in his own end, but a turnover. Throwing it out of front. Here's an opportunity. Backhands it. Couple whacks away from Ethan Knight. Couldn't put it in. And now McNevin gets the loose puck. Back to the line there for Dwyer who tried to shoot it. Back up block. Tapped in though by leg though. Ethan Knight spinning away from the check. Throwing it out of front. Here comes the opportunity to turn around with a shot. And it got steered aside as Borden shot car. Knocked aside. Kept in by Zachary Colden at the blue line. Shot. Tipped out of front. Stopped there by Ross as he makes his first save of the game and holds on to it. Face off coming off to the left of the goal. Davis Gorham trying to win that scramble draw. And he will. Gorham throws it at the net. Trying to find out a form with a shot. That one's going to go off the stick out in front before it hit the net. So now number 10 leads it up there for Whippy. Coming up into the zone with some speed and over the blue line. All alone with a shot. And there's a left pad stop there from Owen Legacy. Kicked it aside with a left pad save. Picked it back in behind the net. Around the board it goes Captain at the other side with a shot. That's going to roll in. Right pad stop there again. Leg with the last couple of saves. Whippy putting pressure on. Tried to throw it out of front there for number 10. Now the Toros come up with a loose puck up their center. Led by Saxena. He turns it over at center. Gorham trying to get to the loose puck and dump it in. So is Zachary Colton right there at that penalty box area. As it gets dumped back past Colton. And number 10 comes up there trying to start a two-on-one. Shot high and wide as he missed the left shot. Going for the left top corner. He missed it off the target. Captain by number 10 again. He's getting another opportunity. That one he's going to fire wide of the right post. Number 10 is showing off his skill so far, but so far he hasn't had the skill to hit the net. Knocked down there by O'Brien Clancy who dumps it back into the Toro's end. They pass up through center for Snockdale Scott. He's going to dump it in. Rory right on goal. Easy stop there for Ross as he kicks it aside. 
put back in behind the net by Preston Bass in behind the goal. Whippy gets a loose puck and try and start it up through center. That lead pass for Morris, he was picked off his stick. And now right, Twinsky dumped it back in. There's Van Reenen in his own end. Van Reenen going for a lead pass, he went over to everybody. Knocked down by Marsh right there at center. And his lead pass for Podolius is offside. He's off at center, just inside the line. Whippy's going to win that draw. Come up through center. Lead pass there from Thurston. Tried to find Hayes and went over his stick. Thurston's going to go back in his own end now. Thurston takes it back in behind his own net. And got pressured on there. Tapped down at the line by Van Reenen. He's going to fire it back down low for Brock Gardner. was over his stick. Gardner's got to go in the corner for it as well. Whippy pick up the loose puck. Trying to get it out now is number 97 up through center. That's Clancy in over the blue line. Clancy takes it in, trying for the drop pass, and Best puts it back in behind the net. Nice play by Preston Best to push Clancy aside and make sure he didn't get the opportunity to shoot that puck. Tapped in at the line by number 13. Who fires it right back in behind the Toro's net. Shot that's going to not make it to the net. The Toro's get the loose puck. Go for that late pass up through center. Here comes the opportunity. As uh, Twinsky tipped it aside. Going up there with Brock Gardner, but the puck was too far ahead. Gardner's going into the corner, though. 350 left to go here in the first period of a scoreless tie here at the Iroquois Arena. Can't expect any less from two of the top teams in the division so far. The two undefeated teams. Number 10 coming into the zone. In over the blue line. Trying to take a shot. Left pass stop. Rebound in front for O'Brien. Clancy hopped over his stick. It goes into the corner. O'Brien Clancy gets the loose puck, trying to throw it out of front. Leg goes up against the post to make the stop. As it goes over into the corner, back to the line there, trying to get a shot through the screen. Tipped out of front. Not going to make it way, make it through to the net. As it just goes into the corner there for the Toro. This line has been putting on some pressure here for Whippy. O'Brien Clancy, number ten. There's a shot. Left pad stop again there by Leg. As he kicked that one out of harm's way. Knocked down there by Christie at center. As he's going to fire it down the ice. And it goes for icing. Candice will take the draw in the defensive end. Toros win it. Trying to get the loose puck now is McNevin. He couldn't do that. Led up there by number 73 up into the zone. Trying to take it back in behind the net. For an opportunity to throw it out of front. That's going to go wide. Toros are going to get the loose puck and try and get it out. Kept in there by the line by number 91. Down center, there was a lead pass. The one over the stick of number 73, who has his jersey tucked in, so we're not going to get that name for this game. There's a trip. We're going to get our first penalty call as the Torres player was tripped, coming out of his own end. So there goes Leg to the bench for the extra attacker. Gordon with a drop pass for Ethan Leg, and there gives a touch up there by Morrissey. As there was McNevin that got tripped up in behind the goal. So off to the penalty box goes number 91, Piondis. First power play goes to the Toros. David Coram will pick it off to the right of Russ. And he wins the draw cleanly. Back to the line, Ryan Lee. Over to the other side. Here comes the chance for Schnuckdale Scott to shoot it. Kick save, right pad stop there from Ross. Toros, David Coram on it. Over there for Schnuckdale Scott. Shot, tip. Foreman trying to find the rebound out of front. Adam Foreman gets it. Throws it out of front. Taken away there by number 17. Ryan Lee trying to pinch in and keep it in. But it's not going to happen as Clancy couldn't go off. Here comes the opportunity to come up here now for Hayes. Hayes is trying to shoot it. He's going to take it back in behind the net. Hayes is going to shoot that one. He's going to get tipped wide into the corner. Crow's trying to get to the loose puck. In behind the goal. We have 1.22 left to go here in the first period. And 1.10 left on the Torres power play. On the penalty to Piendis. Leah pass up through center for Foreman. Coming up over the blue line on a three on two. Adam Foreman with a pass. Tried to find it in his stick. As that was Saxena at the front of the net that couldn't take the pass. Tried to deflect it at in front. Kept in there by Zachary Colton with a shot that goes wide. Davis Gorham turns and fires 
That one's going to get skipped out of the crease area. Christie on the loose puck. Uses the boards to get it out. Not past Colton though, but Colton shot up left. And here comes the opportunity for number 77 to just skate it up through center. Try and get around the check in behind the goal of uh, Dwyer, but that's not going to happen. Nice defensive play by Dwyer to hold him off. 28 seconds left to go here in the period. Trying to chip it up through center now. And go after the races. They pass for Gorb, stays on side. Drops it back there for Brock Gardner. Gardner tried to spin move, couldn't go with it. Here comes number 10 on a breakaway on his own. Good handed shot, stand on it, rebound in front, fired it off the side of the net. Number 10 with a big opportunity. He's had so many in that period, but that one he'll have nightmares of as he shot the rebound off the side of the net, and that'll be the final play of this period. Both teams battle to a nothing nothing draw after the first period of play. South coming at center. Pearls in the opening draw period number two. Brock Gardner is going to dump it in. The penalty is over to Piandis. He's out there on the ice to start the second period for Whippy as Ross took a spell there in the crease area for Whippy. But luckily there was no pearl out of front for the opportunity. And now we're going to get our first pearl penalty. So now they've got to go to their first penalty kill. It'll be Nate Gignoli that's going to go to the box on that hit. Paysoff gets won by the toe. a big defensive win. Then there by Roy Trinsky, drops it back with Brock Gardner. Gardner with a shot. Those shot goes wide of the net. Those two were teammates back in Novice Double A last year. So, we're trying to find that same chemistry. Right here in minor Adam A. Around the boards up to the center. That's going to come out. Number 57 will use the board to dump it back in. Van Rienen tries to get to the loose puck. Lead pass up there for Roy Twinsky, trying to get to the loose puck, couldn't get it past the, the defenseman. Coming up into the zone to get around Preston Best, and Best was able to get enough of him to knock him down and try and get that puck out of the zone. There's a shot that that blocker stopped there from Owen Leg. Good save there to kick it aside. Goes around the corner there for Whippy. One minute exactly left to go on the penalty to Genioli. Kept in at the line there by Thurston, who dumps it in behind the net. Torres got the loose puck, using the board to try and get it up. Got it up there for Brett Gardner at center. He finds it right under the tip of Roy Twinsky, but it just tipped off the stick. So coming back up the other way, right under the stick there of Clancy. Clancy coming up there with number 88, taking a shot. Right past it. Rebound for Clancy. It hops over his stick. He fired it wide of the net. He had an open goal winding right inside his eyes and he fired it wide kept in at the line that one's going to go into the corner Van Rienen trying to find the loose puck and fired around the boards knocked down there by Whippy trying to hold it at the line was number 88 Mercer finally poked up by the toes here they come up through center leading it into the zone with a shot blocker saved there from Ross as he stopped that opportunity from McNevin Brady McNevin with the opportunity on the short ended up short handed there, but it got blocked to the side there by Ross. Stays at nothing, nothing as that one goes past Schaefer into the whippy end. Trying for the drop pass there for Jack for Dwyer as that puck was in his stick. Shot there, tipped at the front as that shot from the line there from Dr. Scott tries for a shot, stand on it. McNevin trying to get to the loose puck. Brady McNevin tried to keep it in the zone. Snuffed out Scott. Couldn't hold the line. Here comes an opportunity for number 88. Casarius. Shot got blocked. Goes around there for Lee. Trying to tip it up. And he will. Here comes Eric Bowden at center. Coming up into the zone. Bowden trying to start the rush. Got a man going to the goal. Throws it there. 
and it went out of the reach. Goes into the corner. Reese and Leg trying to throw it at her front. It's a scramble right there in front of the whippy bench. Trying to pick up the loose puck. Picked off the stick there of number 10. Turned over right there at center as they tried for the alley loop pass. Whippy come back with it again. O'Brien Slanny lost the puck there to Ethan Leg. Ethan Leg comes into the zone. Leg putting the brakes on, throwing it at the net. It's going to go over into the corner. Going back to the line for Ryan Lee. He kept it in shot. That got again blocked by Whippy and cleared out. As trying to turn on the wheels is number 10 before Ryan Lee. Lee's trying to push him wide. There's a shot that's going to get easily handled in the glove by Owen Leg. Jonas will take the draw for Whippy. Win it in the offensive end. Back to the line for number three. Throwing it at the goal. Nice move around and scores. At the side of the net. That was number 87, I believe. With some nice moves. The shot from the line it didn't make it through. So number 87 cleaned it up in front with a nice move around leg. And backhanded it in. It's one to nothing in favor of Whippy White. So all that pressure from both teams finally leads to a goal. Goes to Whippy White, number 87, at the side of the net. Coming up into the zone now, trying to look at for a second of the game. Gets pushed in behind the goal. Throwing it out of front. This one, Owen Leg tries to find it. Capped in at the line again. Nice play by Marsh. Throws it at the net. There's nobody there. It got blocked by the Toros in front. Pionis loses the blue line there for number three. That's going to get blocked by a Toro out in front and go into the corner. There's Morrissey going to chip it down low for number 77. Trying to walk it out of front. His pass got broken up. He's going to take it over there in the corner instead. Turned over to Zach Colton. Zach Colton can't get it past Morrissey. Morrissey's shot can't make it through to the net. Get the loose puck. It's Colton up there for Davis Gorham. Gorham tries to find Saxena and chip it past the whippy bench. Colton's going to try and find it again. Marsh turns it over to Adam Foreman, who's going to start it up with a pass for Saxena out of his reach, but Davis Gorham will pick up the loose puck and stay on side. Gorham's shot's going to go wide. That's going to try and get kept in by Colton. Get all he could, but now Whippy started up with number 88. Coming up into the zone with some speed. On his own is Hayer. Hayer's shot got blocked. He's going to try and pick it up in the corner. Throws it out of front for number 87. Shot got blocked. Banging away at the rebound out of front of the net. It's Hayes as he tries to find it, and it gets found there by Owen Knight for a face-off. Clancy will take the draw against Preston Best and win it and take that quick shot off the draw. It hit Van Rien another front. Hayes gets the loose puck. Trying to find it is Whippy throwing it out of front. Nobody there. Toros trying to get it up there for Gardner as he tries to get rid of it. Captain at the line though by Mercer. His shot gets blocked by Van Rien and he's in like Owen oh, like had to find it in his feet there in the blue paint to hold it for a face off. So we'll get another draw off to the right of the goal. Whippy have had the last few opportunities. There's another one, and there's a blocker stop there from Owen Leg. Finding the loose puck is number 71. Toro's on their heels here as Bruce tries to try and turn around with a shot. Bruce again trying to find it. That one's going to roll in easily for Owen Leg. Who's seen a lot of rubber here so far in the second period. Number 71 wins the draw cleanly. Gets kept in nicely. O'Brien Slaney got knocked down there. Out of front, Toro's Van Rienen with a lead pass. That's going to get kept in by she Christie at the blue line. But Christie's shot got blocked. Borden trying to find it and get it up. Eric Borden got pressure down by number 71. That pass out of front is going to go over into the corner for Ethan Knight. Captain of the line by Marsh. His shot's going to get... Find somebody out of front and go wide of the net. Over to the other side is O'Brien Smitty trying to dig it out of the corner. Van Rienen fell down, shot out of front, blocked the save easily on that shot from the line from Christie. 
And oh, and that just hold it for another draw. Both teams get the line changes. As Piondis is going to take the draw in the offense of Andrew Whippy versus Davis Gorham. Piondis trying to win it on that draw. Pose come up with the loose puck on that scramble draw. And it's Davis Axina at center. Trying to start it up through center right. Lost it there to Thurston who turns it back over again. Gonna try the other side with a lead pass. Picked up there by Gorham on the back end. Now he comes up and over the blue line. Davis Gorham throws it at the net. There was nobody there to keep it in. Now gets catching on the other side by Ryan Lee. With his defense, takes it back in behind their own net. Try and move it out through center. They're going to lead it up into the zone now with number 73 who finally lost the puck. Morrissey at center coming up into the zone. Going to lose that puck. Number four at the whippy blue line comes up with it. Going for the lead pass. He put it right under the stick. Tape us that scene right there at the whip. Close bench as he tries to put it back into the whippy end. There's a big hit there right at the whippy bench is number 73. Took down his man who hasn't made his way back to his feet yet. Number four trying to get it out. And there's the whistle. And that's not Scott Scott who's finally made his way back to his feet after the hit by number 73. Face off coming off to the left of the goal. Knocked out Scott trying to shoot it. Goes down the backhand. That one's going to roll in easily. Miller can't f couldn't find it at first. And now he finally does for a face-off. Excuse me, that was Ross with the net for Whippy who caught that puck. Now we'll get a draw off to the left of Ross. Pulls with a big win. Trying to throw it at the side of the net, got broken up. Turned over at center. Here comes the opportunity for Hayer to go off to the races. Hayes lost the puck before he could get to it. Press the best trying to get to the loose puck. Best trying to get it past number four. Couldn't do that if he got some help with Gardner. Hayes goes over into the corner. Hayes with a shot. That's going to get blocked by Brock Gardner out in front. And here comes a rebound out of front of the net that's going to get chipped wide by O'Brien Slaney. Sorry, Clancy. Clancy walking it out of front. What a pass. Shot. Right pad save. A huge right pad stop off number 87 out in front of the net to keep his team only down by one. Big save there by Owen Leg. Here comes the draw coming off to the right of the goal. Trying to spin and fire there was number 10, Bruce. He lost to the Ethan Leg. Leg coming up into the blue line. Takes a shot. Bouncing on goal and it's a stop there for Ross and a face off. Another draw off to the left of the goal. Right of the goal. Trying to get to the loose puck first. But he couldn't. Here comes the shot there. Wide of the net. As Bruce tried to shoot it. Around the boards there. For McNevin. He can't go anywhere with it. Most knocked that down. That was Eric Ford. And he tried to go off to the races. Got a whistle for... I believe maybe an offside, so we'll get a draw just inside the whippy bench. Pionis will take it against David Gorham. Gorham with a clean win back to Gignoli. Nate Gignoli with a nice pass. Adam Foreman with a nice play to knock it down against Steer Stick. Throw it at the goal. David Gorham shot. Goal! <laughs> That's what the Toros were looking for after all that pressure by Whitby and come back the other way with a goal by Gorham. Lead pass up to center for Saxena at center. Trying to whack away at that loose puck and bat it into the zone. Up there from Mercer. He's going to turn it over to Ryan Lee and find the loose puck. Fire it up to center right under the tape at Saxena. Saxena's pass is going to get broken up there by Whitby. He played it out where Dwyer picks it up. Maddox Squire fires it back into the whippy end. It'll go for icing. Clancy wins a nice draw. Off to the left of 
Meg, Dwyer trying to fire it around the board. Kept in there by Whippy. 435 left to go here in a 1 1 tie in the second period. I believe it was number 87 that scored for Whippy. And it was Davis Gorham who just answered for the Toros to tie things up at 1. Drop pass there out of the reach of White Twinsky. Coming back up the other way is number 43 into the zone. 83, sorry, with a shot. Caterius puts it right in on goal and it gets stopped there easily by Owen Ludge. Number 71 takes the offensive draw. Off to the right of Ludge. Big defensive win there by Braden McNevin. A big defensive draw win. But Whippy still come up with a loose puck. Eric Sporting. And uh, now McNevin is able to clear it out. Right at center. Turned over to Borden now. Eric Borden trying to chip it past Christie as it comes down the ice. Whippy will take it back in their own end. That's Thurston who lost his footing in behind the goal, so the Toros get to keep it in. Not for long. Here comes Whippy up the other way, up through center ice. Right. With some nice moves now is Bruce. Bruce with a shot goes wider than that. Getting on that loose puck. There's O'Brien Slaney getting some help with his man turned over to the toes and a lead pass over to the other side. And we do have correction. I just saw number 10 jersey name clearly. It's Burke turned over there to the toes. Coming up through center. Gignoli couldn't get a pass number 71. Knocked down by O'Brien Slaney who's going to put it back into the toes end. Three minutes left to go here in period number two. Around the board gets knocked down there. Throwing at the goal. Here's Burke with a shot and scores. Burke with a top shelf shot over the blocker of Ethan Lag. Oh, and Lag to make it two to one in favor of Whippy. Burke with a perfect play shot there. He's had the opportunities in the game. Finally, buries one to make it two to one. And there's a shot that's going to hit the side of the net. Lag has made so many stops in the game, but. He couldn't stop that bullet from Burke right from the slot area as he found the top shelf off the cross, firing in. Here comes the Toros goal scorer, Davis Gorham. With a late pass, trying to find Saxena. There's a shot there from Gorham, bouncing in on goal easily for Ross to make the stop. Takes off coming off to the right of Lee goal. Toros keep it in. Back to the line for Lee. Trying to find a lane to shoot the puck. Ryan Lee does. Tip to the front. Nobody there. Davis Gorham and Saxena. Trying to find the loose puck. Gonna get coming back up through center. Led by Clancy into the zone. Clancy couldn't shoot it as it got blocked there by Van Reenen. Clancy trying to get to the loose puck, but Van Reenen is all over him trying to dig it out. Van Reenen got some help. Saxena trying to chip it in, and he will. David Saxena starting it from center. Coming up into the zone. He's got one more to beat. That's number three. He does. Shot. Fires it just high of the glove hand side. Saxena had the tire on his stick but just missed by a couple inches on the glove hand side. Passes Ross. And it's offside as Foreman brought that one in. They stop coming at center. One by the toes and Gardner tries to get to the loose puck. Brock Gardner dropped it back to the left of Preston Bessel. Got taken away there by O'Brien Slaney. Using the boards there was number two, Nick Gignoli. That went over the stick there of Ray Twinsky. So up the center comes the Whippy Wildcats White into the zone. He's number 71. Trying to shoot it now. Lost it as it got poked off his stick. Up start comes Rykwinski and Gardner. Lead pass was out of the stick over the stick of Brock Gardner. It goes over to the side. Rykwinski will pick up the loose puck. Go up through center for Preston Best into the zone. Best is going up there with Gardner. He's going to take it himself. In behind the face-off circle. Dump it in behind the net. We're in the last minute of play of period number two. And a two-to-one Whippy White lead. Uh, late goal here by Bruce. Hey, sorry, Bart, Burke. Burke going to the front of the net. There's an opportunity there for number 16. Block. Still at the front there for Burke. Hopped over his stick. Burke still in there looking for the loose puck. Toes are able to clear it away with Genioli. Nate Genioli at center. Trying to get away from O'Brien Slaney. Puts it right onto the tape there. With a quick shot, and that one goes off the glove there of Ross and wide of the net. 15 seconds left to go here in period number two. Leading it up is number 73 with a pass out of the reach there of Pionis. Here comes Best at center. 
Five seconds left. You might have one more opportunity. Preston Betts couldn't shoot it as he got tangled up there with a whippy defense. That'll do it for the second period. We had three goals in the period. It got started there by number 87 out of front to make a one nothing whippy. It got answered by Davis Brown, but then a late goal by Bruce made it 2-1 to one in favor of Whippy White going to the third. Start off period number three. Between these two good clubs, it's been an exciting game so far. That Whippy leads two to one to head to period number three. Here comes Ethan Leg with a lead pass, trying to find it up through center now. Was Borden who had stepped off his stick. Whippy come back the other way with a shot. Has a blocker save easily by Owen Leg as he kicked to the side. But Whippy still on the loose puck. Pionis tried to shoot it, went over his stick. Toes get the loose puck and try and get a pass Schaefer at the line. Gonna go back and be on the net for Van Rienen. Van Rienen trying to use the board. Couldn't get it with that pass. Toes get the loose puck with Gignoli. He's gonna dump it down the ice. Knocked down at center there by Schaefer as he tries for a pass for number 34 was out of his reach. Here comes Eric Borden at center. Pionis falls down, which could lead to an opportunity for Eric Borden to get into the zone. Shot! Going wide of the net. Into the corner goes Ethan Leg. Leg spinning off the chest, throwing it at the front. And it got taken away there by number four. He tried to find Borden at the front. Around the boards it goes. That's going to get kept into the line by Van Rienen. Van Rienen rings it around the board, back in behind the whippy net. Number 83. With a backhand pass. No look pass, almost cost him. Kept him by Gignoli. Tipped at the front. Nobody there to tip that puck. 83 finds the lane, dumps it down the ice. Van Rienen trying to stay on his feet. Hayes goes into the corner. Hayes sends it out of front. Capped in there by number 53 with a shot. That's going to go wide of the net. Ethan Leg will get the loose puck. Try and chip it up through center. Goes over the stick of Christie and down the ice. Back goes Marsh for the loose puck. And going to get pressured on there by Ryan Twinsky as it goes around the board. So, excuse me, that was McNevin who went in behind and put some pressure on Marsh. Over there for Hayes as he comes up into the zone. Hayes putting the brakes on in the toes end. Now they pick it up and dump it down. Knocked down at center by Mercer. Mercer's going to use the board to dump it back into the toes end. That was out of the reach there on that lead pass to Saxena. And it's an offside call. Face off coming at center. Getting one there by Whippy up into the zone. Is number 10. Bruce looking for a shot. Takes it from the face off circle. It got blocked there by Dwyer. Goes in behind the toes net. First one trying to get to it and try and get it out. Gonna get to try and kept kept in at their line. Around the boards it goes. And they're digging away at it. Trying to get it free. A couple of toes players. And get it out of their end. They pass for Gorham. It's going to be a two-on-one with Adam Foreman. Foreman and Gorham. Foreman. Gorham. Goal! David Gorham is tied up on a breakaway. Again, they played by Adam Foreman. Those two are second well. They tied things up at two. Face off at center. Toes. Got one before even the three-minute mark of the third period. It tied things up at two. Buckle up for him for a good one. Here at the Iroquois Park Arena between these two. Two clubs trying to move it up through center. Knocked down there by Morrissey as he tries to find the z- loose puck. Morrissey turns it over at center to Bats who doesn't slip down. Preston Bats puts the right in on goal. It's going to go in behind the net. First one back there is number 13. 
He gets taken in the boards and behind the net. Getting that loose puck was Preston Beck. And it's going to be a penalty coming up here. I believe it's going to be to the Toros on that hit in the corner. So it'll be Red Twinsky that's going to go to the box. Whippy will enjoy the power play with the opportunity to get their one goal lead back. McNevin will take the draw against Clancy. Clancy wins it. Dumps it around the boards up there for Burke. Was out of his reach. Dump back down the ice. First one back there is number 57 in his own end. Going for a lead pass, getting knocked down there by the Toros at center. Knocked out Scott, trying to corral that loose puck. Came free to whip his Bruce. First, Burke comes into the zone. Burke is trying for the backhand, throwing it out of front, trying to find Clancy. Burke and Clancy are digging on the loose puck there. And up with it come the Toros, and down with it goes the puck. All the way down the ice. That'll kill some time on the penalty to Red Twinsky as it goes in behind the whippy net. They get that loose puck there with McNevin. As it's going over to the other side at the Toros bench for Ryan Lee to just dump it. Try and use the boards. He'll use it. Pass Crispy down the ice. Nice play to knock that down. So Andy. And he got tripped up. That was Borden who got tripped up as he tried to take the puck to the net short-handed. Dumped in on goal. Nice stop there by Ross. As he wasn't taking surprise on the dump in. Left it there for Christie. He's going to use the boards and dump it out. Pose Corral at center. Dump it right back in. Right, Twinsky will be released in 30 seconds. Or less if Whippy can connect on that power play. But Genioli is able to tip it out. Here comes Gorham looking for his hat trick, but he couldn't go off to the races on that puck. Some nice moves there by Genioli. Gets it up there for Gorham. And here he comes again. Davis Gorham shot. Short-handed. Bouncing wide of the net. It's over there in the corner. Trying to pick up the loose puck as Whippy with a lead pass. Foreman's going to knock that one down the center. The Toros have killed off the penalty to right Twinsky. Lead pass out of the reach there. Coming up into the zone with a backhand. Trying to shoot that puck through the screen. Back off block. Another whack away at it. That goes right of the net. Around the boards it goes. Tapped in at the line though by Van Rienen. And Van Rienen's going to take his shot. That's not going to make its way to the net. It's going to come up to there for Saxena. Throws it out of the reach. Tapped in by Van Rienen at the blue line. Van Rienen shot that puck there by... Pionis as he dumped it down. Turned over there to the Toros. Coming up into the zone. And there's a trip. That's going to be another Toros penalty. Coming up here this one. We'll go to Genioli. His second uh, penalty of the game. So after Whippy just enjoyed their power play. They get to have another one. And another crack to try and break the tie. But Rajwinski will dump that one down into the corner. First one back there is number four for Whippy. Rings around the boards, pressing back, cuts that one off. Dumps it down low. Tried for a backhand there for Mario Twinsky. That goes wide of the net. Moving it up through center there for Burke. Burke lost the puck and Dwyer couldn't clear it. As Katsarius stand on the puck. Preston Beck gets the opportunity to dump it back in. And kill some time shorthanded. Back in his own end. Loses it. Take up the opportunity to stuff it into the side of the net. As that was right, Twinsky who had the opportunity short-handed. Late pass up there for Burke. He's not going to make his way around Dwyer. Dwyer tried to get it out, couldn't. There's a shot thrown at the net that's going to go wide and into the corner. There goes Burke on the loose puck. Trying to spin off the check is Burke. Puts it in behind the Toro's net. That's where it's going to get picked up there by Dwyer. Rings it around the board. That one's going to get kept in by number four at the line. Number four shot cut. Hit a toe out of front. Went wide. Toes get the loose puck and cleared it. Right, Twinsky dumped it down as he was falling down. So a nice play to regroup and dump it out. Zachary Colton finds the loose puck and clears it right to the penalty box area. Colton again finds the lane. Dumps it down and it's going to be a high stick. 
Face off coming just inside the toes line. One there by the toes. Here comes Ethan Lang at center. With a nice move to chip it up to himself. Coming up into the zone. Leg got taken down in the corner there by O'Brien Slaney. Trying to get to the loose puck. Sets it up there for McNevin. Trying to get it on it. And uh, Brady McNevin lost it. Cast in again there by Leg. O'Brien Slaney turns it over at center. Here comes McNevin on the loose puck. Brady McNevin backhands the pass for Lee who comes in offside. Back here live. Moving it up to center. He fell before he could shoot the puck. Toros get it. Coming up into the zone is Bowden. Trying to shoot it. Takes it back and behind the net. Put in there. Big save. High stick at the front and the Toros are going to touch it. And there goes the high stick call on the puck and in front of the net. As McNevin tried to bat that puck into the open goal. Take the draw against McNevin and win it. There's Gordon on the loose puck trying to chip it into the zone. Trying to keep it in there. He does and finds Ethan Leg. Leg couldn't go with it. And now the opportunity to come back up through center. Up into the blue line. And Hayes is joining the rush as well. Back in shot. That one got stopped there as he got just enough of the glove on it. And he stopped there by Owen Leg to Get just a piece of that shot. Hayes takes it back to me on the net. Trying on the backhand. That's going to go wide. Going to try on the wrap around out of front. That one's going to go wide as well. Van Reenen tries to take this man down in the corner. Thurston will knock it down at center there for Whippy White. And dump it right back in behind the net. Genioli will retrieve it back behind the goal. Genioli goes for a late pass to try and get it out. And he will. Clear it at center. First one trying to get through it is David Saxena. Saxena gets around the check and gets in the zone. Shot. Blocker save. Hopped over the stick there going to the net with McNevin. As Saxena uh, started that opportunity with a shot and it got blocked away there by Ross. Kept in there by Schaefer at the line. Gonna put it back in behind the net. Try and walk it out in front of the goal. It's gonna go wide here for the toes of the collision. Toros getting the loose puck, can't get it past Clancy as Clancy's digging on the loose puck along with Katsarius over there in the Toros end in the corner. Getting a loose puck with Adam Foreman and sweeping it aside out of danger. Knocked down by Saxena at center. Picking it up into the zone is Clancy. Clancy shooting it from the faceoff circle. That's going to go wide of the net. Go over there in the corner. First man out of front, quick shot on the one time, goes wide of the net. Toros get it behind their own goal. Genioli with a lead pass. Tried to find Saxena over the other side for Adam Foreman at center. Foreman with a nice pass for David Storm. Coming up into the zone. Storm shot, blocker saved there from Ross. Put it behind the net for number four. Gonna use the boards, not gonna get it out though. Nice defensive play by Zachary Corden to hold it in. Saxena. Gets it back on his feet as he tries to hold it in there. There comes the opportunity leading up to the center with Pionis, and Pionis's pass got broken up. A nice defensive play by Dwyer. And then he moves it up there for McNevin or Saxena coming up into the zone. David Saxena tried to shoot the puck. He got swept off his stick from Christie. Gorham, or Saxena was an offside there as Gorham tried to take the puck. Here comes Whippy into the zone. And it's going to be another towards penalty. This one's going to go to Colton for holding up the Whippy player trying to go to the net. So the Toros have to kill off their third straight penalty here in the third period. Face off coming just inside the line, trying for a shot. Throwing it at the goal. Knocked down now by Snockdale Scott who's going to use the board back to the line. Toros have just got to try and hold on and kill off this penalty to Zachary Colton. Lee trying to uh, take that loose puck along with Snuckdale Scott in the corner. Ryan Lee tries to take his man into the board to get to that loose puck. Here comes the opportunity to fire it down. Whippy are uh, not allowing the puck to 
get out of that corner. And now the referee finally blows the whistle for a face-off. Morrissey goes to the box for Whippy. So it'll be 4-4 four four hockey for the next 131. And then the Toros will enjoy a power play for 129 to end the game. Here comes Burke into the zone. Starting this 4-on-4 four four rush on a shot that goes wide. Burke sending it out of front again. Nobody there to take the pass except for a blue sweater. And the Toros dump it down the ice. Nice defensive play to break it up. And then dump it down the ice. Not going to have enough juice to go for an icing call. Thurston in his own end. His pass hit a throw and went back. Ricocheted in behind the whippy net. First one in behind the goal. There's Ford and back to the line for Ryan Lee. Trying to face that puck. Will for the face that circle. Tip that in front as Ray Twinsky tried to put it in. Ray Twinsky again throws it at the goal. That one's going to get gobbled up by Ross for a face off. Face off coming off to the left of the goal. Trying to keep it in, and they will. Nice play by McNevin to get to that loose puck. And now Whippy will come out with it. Starting it up through center is O'Brien Sweeney. O'Brien Sweeney will turn that one over. And now Toro still can't get it out. His number 71 was able to keep it in the zone after long. Gets shipped at center. Christie uses the boards to dump it deeper into the Toro's end. There's a puck that's going to go back in behind the Toro's goal. First one back there trying to be Van Rienen, but he's not going to beat O'Brien Slaney on it. O'Brien Slaney throws it out front. Nobody there. That's going to get kind of kept in there by Thurston at the line. Thurston, shot got blocked. Toros get the opportunity, and off they come. Ethan Legg along with Brayden McNevin, two on one. Over there for McNevin. Shot. Blah. Nice stick save there from Ross as he stopped Brayden McNevin close in front. And that's a game changer right there if the Toros can't leave here with two points. Van Rieden loses it at center. Here comes Genioli as Whippy's going off in the line change. Nate Genioli leads the rush shot. Stop block. Still there in the feet. Trying to find it now is McNevin. Brady McNevin gets it back to the line for Ethan Legg. Trying to shoot the puck. And it's off block. And it's going to come out. 40 seconds left to go here in the game. Jonas is shot. Jonas is going to take it wide of the net. It's a toes power play. Now it's over. We'll play five on five for the rest of the game. Cleared at center. McNevin trying to skate at that loose puck, and he will. Freddie McNevin in. Shot is going to be a face-off as he rolls it in on goal. It's going to be a tripping call coming up. So for the last 25 seconds, the Toros will get a power play. It'll be number four that goes to the box for the trip. Jaw coming off to the left of the goal. Gorm's going to try and win it. Whippy does, then dump it down the ice. So that should about do it. 20 seconds left unless the Toros can really turn it on. Owen oh, Legg started to play out of his own end. Ryan Lee takes it back in behind the goal. Toes have 10 seconds to get up the ice. Lee, Lee pass for Gorham, was out of his reach, going down the ice, into the zone. Thurston is going to pick it up, and both of these teams are going to stay undefeated as they battle to a 2-2 tie. Davis Gorham tied things up in the third period. What a game here at the Year Club Park Arena. Both teams deserve a point and probably disappointed they couldn't leave with the extra one. Whippy now increased their lead as they have 14 points while the Toes will jump up there with 11. Next uh, broadcast for MJ Broadcasting will be this weekend when we do Minor AA. I'm the voice of MJ Broadcasting, Mike Jackman. <laughs>